Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan. Uh, long time no chat. <laughs> uh, I did just receive my Erin Condren order from the launch uh, a couple weeks ago in April, and so I wanted to um, do a little unboxing for you, kind of show you what I got, go over everything. Um, and yeah, kind of changing it up a little bit for next year, but keeping it a little bit the same. <laughs> so we've got a huge box here. Um, but I haven't opened it, as you can see. I have to kind of save it for the unboxing. And I apologize for any glare ahead of time. I think what I'm going to do is set this aside and uh, then just kind of bring things over and, and talk about them one by one because this is huge. So let me get this set aside here. Okay, so the first uh, thing here is the little uh, card insert that has your 20% coupon code on the back. And then it just kind of highlights some uh, different uh, items that are coming in July for the back to school collection. So just kind of a little sneak peek of those. And I have to apologize, my dog is laying next to me on the floor and she is snoring. So if you can hear that, I am really sorry. It's kind of annoying, but... <laughs> She has to be with me all the time, so. Okay, um, first thing we're gonna go over is my life planner. I chose the hourly version again, so this is what I'm using um, this year. Seven by nine, well, of course it's seven by nine. That's the only size they offer the hourly in. Uh, the first thing I wanted to touch on is the new stencil. So in years past, they've done the rulers uh, and this year you get an upgrade. Uh, I absolutely love this. I'm super excited about this upgrade because I feel like it's huge. Um, I use the ruler, but mainly just like to draw lines or whatever. And so this is really nice because it's actually a functional uh, stencil. You've got, um, let me see here if it's showing up. Yes, perfect. Okay. So you've got just a bar uh, or a box, I guess, not a bar. Um here and then a flag you've got a couple little like the teardrop circles you've got all different sizes of circles to make checklists and boxes as well and then I really like that you they give you the stacked boxes um, and I haven't tried this on the sidebar but I'm really curious to see I don't know if I if I've seen anybody show this but just curious about whether this will uh, line up with the lines on the sidebar I'm really hoping that it does because I struggle with that um, myself like getting the like if I do a checklist on the sidebar let me show you an example so um, if I do a sidebar checklist sometimes um, I will have like the kit I'm using would have uh, like checklists with it and that I could put there sometimes they don't though and so I'll make my own either with a marker uh, like a dot marker so I have like circles or I will use, I do have a stencil that has um, boxes, but not like continual. So you know what, let's just check that right now and see if it, see if it works. Um, so let me finish going over this first, then I'll check it. Mm -hmm. You've got the line, um, why do I keep saying that? Another box here on the side, this kind of window shaped, uh, box there and then you've got each of the boxes for like quarter of an hour half an hour full hour stuff like that all right so let's open this up here I can get it all right and let's see if it lines up it mm, no it doesn't well, shoot. Oh, maybe if you turn it on the side, it does. But yeah, so they do line up if you turn it on its side. Uh, they line up right on the lines. So that makes me happy. All right, and then of course you've got like the uh, ruler marks on the side still. And this is kind of fun. You've got a little, um, kind of like a, I don't know if you can even see that if it's coming out, there we go. Um, 
wavy line if you wanted to do some fun um, decorating. Got some stuff on there. Um, on the, like, your pages or whatever. It might be kind of fun to make that down at the bottom or just whatever. So that is fun. I'm very excited for that upgrade. So let's go over my planner. Like I said, it is the 7 by 9 So I will say that... Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So I got the 18 month, which I always do. And it is massive, as you can kind of see here. Also, I got the upgraded, so you can add on 40 uh, pages um, for just a, an extra upcharge. Uh, and then you can choose from the different uh, layouts that you want. There's productivity, goals. Uh, I think there's four total, like a lined notes page. Um, so my, what I do is I, cause I like the upgraded coil, the bigger coil, although this one, I don't know. I should, I should have brought my other planner down here to see like size wise how it compares, but whatever, what I do is I end up taking out July, like the first six months. So July, uh, through December. And then I start my planner in January, um, because I like the extra coil because I use a ton of stickers and washi tape and my planners get very, very chunky. So I wanted the upgraded coil, so I get the 18 month, and then I end up just taking the first uh, six months out of here, um, which is fine, it's it's whatever. Um, and then I, like I said, I did get the, co uh, the extra, let me go back here to show you. Okay, so at the end of December, you've got aligned, Show this here. You've got these lined notes pages, and you've got your notes section with the lined notes pages. So that has not changed. That's the same as last year. And then behind the notes pages is where you can add those extra 40 pages for whatever design you choose. And I chose productivity, so you can see that on the tab there. And um, you get so the first page here is a just a dot grid and you turn the page and this is your first page of your productivity layout and you've got three sections here and then like a to-do section or you know like a list whatever and then a box there's no dots in here just a plain box which I don't know for me um I tend to if I don't have a line to write on or some sort of guide it'll be crooked I'll, I'll just write crooked <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what I will utilize this section for. Um, and I suppose I could use my um, stencil ruler here to maybe just draw some lines. I don't know, that one's not long enough. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure that out. I was more wanting like these sections here and I really wish that we could add these to the, um, which there really isn't room and I, I understand that with the hourly layout, but like, I would love if we could have like, so you'd have your weekly layout here and then maybe the next layout here could be these two pages. So you've got the, all the lists here and then you've got a dot grid on this page because for me, a lot of times, um, on my sidebar, I will use it for like trackers and different things like that. And so there may not necessarily be enough room for my to-do list for that week. So <clears throat> I don't know, um, it, it probably will never happen, but <laughs> that's just kind of in my head where I would love to have these, this productivity layout in the weekly. So yes, you get 40 pages of those. Like I said, it alternates between the lists page and the dot grid. I would love that. So there is that, and then it just goes to the end, and then you get your, yeah, your full 40 pages, right? You've got you, Then you've got a lined page, like always, before you get into the heritage and awareness page, your uh, let's keep in touch page, and then um, like a, oh, what's this called? Like a, uh, perp not a perpetual calendar, but the next, the next year's calendar starting in January 26 and going through the whole year. Uh, future log. Oh my goodness. That's what I call it. I'm not sure if that's what Erin Condren calls it. Anyway, 
Uh, and I do kind of like that too, because like things, um, like dentist appointments, you know, things that you have planned out in the future, like we plan our, we schedule our dentist appointment six months in advance. Um, every time we go in for cleaning, then we schedule the next one. So it is kind of nice to have the, the future log, that's what I call it. And uh, then you have, of course, your sticker pages. And I got the canvas layout. Um, so it's just the blank insides. And they give you this, um, their canvas uh, colorway stickers, which also match the markers and things like that in the canvas line. I've got this page here. Some trackers and canceled and to do. I tend to, I don't use these. I need to like keep them handy so that I will use them. Um, of course, you've got your birthday stickers. And then the t like, um, page, not page flags, but labels. So you've got a page of that. And then you have your um, folder. So it's the double sided folder. In the back pocket here um, has a thing too. You've got your 20% off, another 20% off, two set of coupons or double set of coupons, your um, compliment cards, which those are always cute. All right, then we got, of course, the perpetual calendar, which comes with all of the life planners. Uh, this is also something that I just don't use and I need to because I, I could totally, you know, put this to, to use, but anyway. All right, so that is my, oh, and I also did the upgraded coil this year on my planner, which I really wanted to do it last year and I didn't. This year I'm like, you know what, I'm going for it. I don't even care. <laughs> just gonna go for it. This is the, is it called Sunset or Sunrise? I can't remember. Coil, it is so pretty. And then of course I did this kind of um, magenta colored um, cover to match that purple there. I tend to change my covers out a lot. So um, yeah, and I don't do any personalization, so. All right, so that is my planner. Put that aside. All right. The next thing, uh, this is kind of where I changed it up. Changed it up a little bit. I talked about this on my Instagram a little bit, um, and in my Facebook group as well. And if you're interested in joining my Facebook group, um, I'll leave a link below in the description box. Um, it is. Um, all things planners and journals. We have a really good community over there. It's We have about 7,000 members, so that's exciting. Uh, anywho, so this is the guided journal. And I would have never even given this a second thought if I hadn't seen someone talk about it. Um, so once I saw the layout on the inside, so, oh, I guess it's work-life balance planner but it's under the guided journals tab. I will leave a link to it below. Uh, also, I am an Erin Connor affiliate. And so uh, if you use my links to sh my link to shop, um, I do earn a little bit of a commission. Uh, and anytime you use my affiliate link to shop, I just am so, so grateful because I really, I just appreciate it. Um, and I do earn a little bit of commission. So that's nice too. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, that link will be below if you, oh, and if you do use my link to shop and you place an order, make sure that you get a hold of me somehow because whether you're in my uh, Facebook group or um, you can message me on Instagram, let me know because I like to send out um, a little happy mail thank you uh, to anybody who uses my link to place an order. And then I actually, sometimes I'll do giveaways too. I just did one in my Facebook group for uh, anyone that used my link to order for the launch, that uh, first week of the launch. Um, and had a little giveaway for something fun with that. That's so it's kind of fun. All right, let's get into this. So it is super tiny coil. Okay, first of all, let's just talk about that. <laughs> but I have seen people uncoil Erin Condren planners and I I don't know it makes me a little bit nervous what I was thinking is maybe put this on an A5 coil I don't know um if I decide that I like it so you get three months uh this little dashboard page is cute in here Ugh, barcode I hate those barcodes uh there's impossible to co cover up 
Anyway, all right, so work-life balance planner in the guided journal section on the website. I'll have it linked below um, for you. And then it just kind of gives you a rundown of how, how they've designed this planner, how to use it, which I'm probably not gonna use it that way, but it is undated, which I love that it's undated. Yes, it takes a little bit of work to go through and date it. To me, that's not that big a deal. Uh, so you have monthly view, and then, so basically just like a regular Erin Condren planner, right? You've got your boxes, and then the sidebar there. Love that. Um, and then you go into, the, I love this. I, I, I'm I going to um, email Erin Condren and let them know, beg them, <laughs> to make this into an actual planner. Honestly, this is my dream layout. I use the hourly now because to me that's like my best option. But if I could get this as a planner for a whole year, I would be in heaven. It's amazing. Um, it's almost, so you've got the, the horizontal boxes here, sort of like a, um, the Hobonichi Weeks, except it's just half the page. Then you have a little um, lined section here and lined section here, habits. Then over here, you've got priorities for you know, personal life and then work priorities. And then you also have lists under each of those, which I love. Now, if if I could make this into a planner, obviously I would make it dated just because, you know, that's that would make more sense. And um, anyway, so you get, you have this week, that this is would be like your daily layout, right? I don't think I mentioned that. Um, but then the weekly, week at a glance section. Okay, then you've got each day. So you choose your month and your day uh, that this particular page is for. Then you get each for each day, same layout, one for each day. And then you start with the next week. So it's more, it, it isn't like, um, it's kind of like the daily duo a little bit, except for me, I like, that's a lot of space on one page with just like the hourly things. This is just so much more structured. My brain loves this layout. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, then you get your week and it goes like that through the whole month. So you get each day, then you start the new week with the weekly layout and so on, okay? And then each month changes color according to the, um, the tab. I did find out that, um, Planner Kate actually sells tabs that will fit to cover these if you wanted to like change the color. Because like for me, I, I like to use stickers in my planners. So um, I am probably gonna grab those. I also use those um, stickers in my actual planner to like add a little bit of color to the tabs because the gray is just kind of, I don't know. I wanted the color, like the inside of my planner to be, I didn't want any color in it. I want to add the color, but my tabs, I would love to have color on the tabs. I don't know. I'm just weird that way. Anyway. All right. So then you've got the third month here. And then back here you have, I think this is called a productivity section maybe. So it just has like a meeting, meeting topic. Of course you've got your date, attendees, objective, then notes. Honestly, I won't use this for that. Um, I would just change it and probably use this to make more lists. I don't know. I haven't haven't really thought that far ahead on these. And I don't know how many. Let's see. One. So you get 16 of these pages. Um, I'm sure I could find something to use them for. You know, even if it's just like gift list ideas for my kids and um, different people that we buy gifts for. Um, cleaning schedule, whatever, right? Kind of like a collections uh, section. And then you get just plain white stickers with gold foiling. And I think it's just one page of those. Oh, you, nope, sorry. You get the the words too. I can't get the sticking um, boxes, like little page flags and then to-dos, importance, reminders. So, and then the back section has a little, um, lined 
area you can use. Um, I've heard people use dry erase markers, but then I've also heard people use wet erase markers because they don't transfer the ink to like the page before. I don't know, the wet erase markers that I have, I got from Walmart, I think they're um, made for like a transparency film. Um, they transfer, so I don't know. I need to figure that out because that is annoying. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's the little uh, work, what's it called again? Oops. Work-life balance planner. Next thing I got here, take it out of the wrapper, is the new uh, Etta V woven, what's it called? Woven grid? I need to look back and make sure. Uh, cover interchangeable cover for my seven by nine. It is so pretty. And the colors, grab my planner here. The colors are absolutely perfect with this coil. I mean, oh, it's stunning, stunning. I love it. So grab that. Make a little pile of all my goodies over here. Okay. Oh, the next thing I got is the Bold Blooms washi tape. Um, and I'll insert a picture here of what these look like uh, when they're rolled out. They are beautiful. Love them. The next thing I got is the, one of their new clear folios. This is the fuchsia color. It is, these are amazing. I love these. It kind of takes me back to the whole Trapper Keeper uh, situation that I had in junior high and high school. Um, love it. So this is the seven by nine size. It has this really nice snap here. It has a double snap. So depending on how chunky your planner is, um, you have the ability to uh, have the extra size there or tighten it up if your planner is not quite as heavy. Take this huge styrofoam out. Grab my planner. Now I have heard that the 18 month fits in here. Of course, it's, you know, Erin Condren says that it's made more for the um, regular 12-month planner. Uh, it's just going to fit better, especially as you bulk it up with stickers and whatnot. So, that slid in there. Easier said than done. It's always harder to do this stuff on camera. My, <laughs> my cover is going to flip off. So there we go. So it fits. Uh, I don't know how it would fit when I have all my bajillion stickers in there, but plenty of room. You can see that. I love it. It's just, it kind of protects the planner. My planners tend to get, like the covers get scratched up and um, yeah, I just liked this extra layer of protection that this provides. So now that I work to get that in here, let me take it back out <laughs> and we'll kind of talk a little bit about this. So, like I said, two, two um, snap options there. You've got a pen loop here, which I love because I'm, I constantly have my pen with me. And so a lot of times I'll just stick it in the coil um, and I've lost pens that way. So this is nice. Uh, and then you have, of course, the back pocket where the, your cover will slide into. You get the secretarial pocket here and then this extra pocket on um, down here. Um, and I don't know, I was going to order... Yeah, I didn't end up ordering it. Um, I was going to order one of their personalized uh, notepads because I wanted to be able to slip that uh, back here. And I can't remember if it fits into this pocket or you have to put it into the bigger one. I can't remember. Um, but they do make um, notepads that will fit into the back of here. So I wanted to grab one of those and I didn't, I guess. So anywho, that's on my list. <laughs> my wish list for my birthday. Um... So yeah, I really, this is kind of a fun uh, new addition that they brought out. And um, they have, of course, this fuchsia color. They've got um, a, a peacock color, which is like a really pretty teal. And then, what was the third color? Uh, yellow. I'll uh, insert a picture of all three of them so you can see those. And uh, like I said, everything that I that I bought, I'll have linked below for you. And if you have any questions, you can either um, put it in a comment or you can get a hold of me on Instagram um, or any anything like that. So just let me know if you have any questions. 
Okay, and then the last thing I have here are the metallic markers, and I'm really excited about these. Um, I'll put a swatch uh, picture for you so that you can see them swatched out. They are so pretty. Uh, and then also they will work on black paper, so I know some people use those blackout journals and planners, um, and this these markers show up beautifully. They're absolutely stunning. So, And I love that they put the names of the colors on there. Um, I don't know. I'm the same way with, um, mild liners. They, they usually, some of them have just a number, but some of them have an actual color name. And I like that. So when I'm swatching, I can write the color name. So that is my order from Erin Condren. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, reach out to me, let me know. Um, and if you, like I said before, if you do place an order using my link, uh, please let me know so that I can send you a little thank you. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. Bye.